Hey everybody, it's Paper Spire here for Let's Play Spire 2 Rip This Rage. We're actually gonna get started on this now. Um we're oh, gonna go to my retard. Um yeah, let's create a block. Okay. I hope I created it on the right memory card. This is actually being played on my PS3, sadly. So, um, hold on, I'm gonna pull a little closer to the mic so you can hear me a little better, and then I'm gonna shut up for the cutscenes. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores! Yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? And a little more loading before we actually get to start our adventure. Okay. Regular frame. What? Already starting off with me tumbling over my words. That's a great start. Woo! Yeah, so. And I hit the gem. As I mentioned, though, I am playing this on the PS3, so. Any lag that happens is gonna have to happen because I apparently don't have a working game disc. Oh, um, that's a little different. So yeah, as you'll notice when you jump and glide, press triangle instead of dropping right down, you'll now hover. Nah, eh, a little difference in controls, but not a whole lot. Um, miss. Jump! Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so kind of just start off the usual Spyro 2 thing, and um, see, so yep, yeah, sidebars should be back, hopefully, as long as you see them there, they should be here for the whole project. 
and I'm kind of tired today, so I apologize if my commentary is very bad. Get out of the way. Um, oh well, either way. How many of these stupid chest things did I miss in here? Okay, now we should have them all. So if I remember correctly, because I've played through this section so many times, you should go down into the uh, section where you have to pay money fags with 191 gems if memory serves correctly. Yeah. And as you'll notice, we don't get gems from killing enemies here. Um, we just get those little white spirit particles. Um, and those will become useful later. As you see here, this is a fairy. They checkpoint your progress. It's almost like stepping on the platform to uh, inspire one. Every time they zap you, they've just saved where you are. And there's money fags now, but we still have some more gems we can get down here. And there is a certain number, like if you press start here, it'll say like, oh, there's you've ki already killed 10 out of 14 enemies in this world. That kind of stuff's not going to appear on the sidebar, because it's not that useful. Especially because I usually wind up killing every enemy that comes along in my path. I'm a little sure, but... So, well, we have to come back to this world eventually. Because we... Well, you technically can try to... Oh, there's some. I keep missing these baskets today. Okay, that should be 191. Yep. Ah, you... Yeah, so you can technically, like, glitch it out and just go over there, but I don't like to do that. I just do things the way I want to do them. So, as you can see here, he's going to take away 100 of your gems there. He, he wanted to having to pay him for a lot. She's just telling you about something that we already knew about in Spyro 1. I don't know if I showed it off, but if you press triangle, you can zoom in and do a first-person thing. It's useless for a while. I don't find myself using it almost at all. Until very, very later, very, very much later into this game, like beyond the end. Well, maybe a little bit now, but yeah. But the end game is really the only time I find myself using it constantly because, um, though there's no like 120%ing this game, they do give you a really cool prize for getting everything. It's actually really awesome. And we'll be getting into that probably like part like 25 or so, maybe even beyond. So I, th I do believe this game is a little bit longer than Spyro 1. There's a lot more to do, there's more backtracking and everything. Ugh, well, starting this off the day before school starts for me again, so I'm kind of sad faced about that. I'm ready for it, but I don't want to. Okay, I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm just gonna get the gems. But yeah, school starts tomorrow for me. I'm not exactly happy about that. It's kind of early for people up in this area too. Like usually, people here don't start until much later. Oh well, um, we're gonna talk to him. Go back on topic for a couple minutes. Yeah, he's gonna give you a talisman. There's 14 talismans in all. Um, six in this world. As you will see in the sidebars a little bit later. I already have the sidebars made too, which is nice. I just have to click stuff on and off. So now as you see here, we have a bit of a flight challenge here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through this thing. And that is going to give us the ability to fly until that meter that you see on the right side of the screen runs out and we'll just drop to the ground. You can use this to get over because there's another one of these puzzles or flight thingies inside the building if you saw the lamps were just hanging from the ceiling. It's a little bit harder and you can try to get in there with that or you can try to do some other glitches to try to get up there. And um, But I'm not going to be doing that. Now as you'll see here we get our second collect cl collectible orbs other than gems and talismans. Or actually that's third because uh, we already have talismans. Or a talisman. Or, I don't even know if. I guess. I didn't. When I made the sidebars, I didn't use talismans. Or I just used talisman.
Um, probably should get the flight thing and go up there and collect the gems. Um, that was somewhat weird. But you do have a flight limit too, you can't fly higher than where I was just flying at. Get out of the way. Alright, after this we just have a little bit more to go. Start. Um, sorry for that. Trying to see how much time we have left. We're down to three minutes there. Give or take, so. Yeah, we still have some time. We should be able to get this done in this part. I missed. I seriously missed. You don't even need to aim for this one. You can, yeah, as you can see, you can aim and have stuff in your mouth, but. Don't really need to do that. My shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Don't. I would have made that perfectly fine and not have to crash into the walls three times. He would have just gotten out of my way. We don't have a lot of time. Let's go. I glitched because he was riding the whirlwind on top of me, slowing me down. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Shut up. Give me the rock. Get over the edge here and just spit it. Hopefully you can hit him without aiming. Let's just move. What are you doing? I'm right in front of you. He will stop and wait for you, which gets kind of annoying if you're trying to run ahead if you already know where everything is. He will move a little bit too. What the heck did I just do? I shot it way over his head. I'm not trying to talk to you. Put the triangle button as to talk and to aim, so sometimes you can do that and hit both at the same time. Gosh. They put him right in the good spot, too, where you want to be able to aim, but you just keep trying to talk to him. Um, come on, move faster. I'm right behind you, don't stop. You're slow. Give me the thing. Now what you're gonna want to do for this one, because he's way up there, is just go up here. Just fire at him. Hit him. Okay, get up here. Let's go. Did he leave another rock down there? I'm gonna take that with me. So I can use it on the next one and don't have to wait for him. Okay. Here's the next one. Borrow. Aim. Where'd he go? Is he still waiting for me or something? Yeah, okay, whatever. For whatever reason, the counter doesn't go up until he claps for you that you did it. Dude! Get up there. This one's kind of difficult because they put it right at the top. Oh, um, my uh, timer's done. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. We're running out of time. Okay, well, either way, as I get this final lizard, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Today's part of Spyro 2. Um, oh wait, that was a text message, not my timer. Now it's my timer, okay. Um, yeah, that's it gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow, or hopefully tomorrow, for more Spyro 2, where we're gonna do more Spyro stuff. Bye bye.